Sami, I'm going to start with you. You are on the ground. You are fighting this ethnic cleansing project directly with your own hands. Talk to us about the situation right now as it stands. What are the communities doing? What is the situation like? Uh, just now, just really recent. Uh, just now, we got uh, uh, some good news, which is about the freeze order for Khalat al Dabi village. Uh, in Thursday, the Israeli occupation authorities has uh, uh, distributed and delivered 17 you know, demol final demolition orders uh, for the village of Khalat al Dabi, include the houses, the water wells, all the construction in, in, in the village. In here in, in Masaf Riyatta, Khalat al Dabi is one of the eight villages under uh, threat of eviction and uh, displacement. Uh, so, like, we were very worried that today the, uh, the demolition is going to happen and carry out, but just really a few minutes ago, the lawyer have updated us that they succeed to get a freeze. This is, doesn't mean that the decision is cancelled, but for now, this village is for, uh, it's kind of safe for these moments and for this time, but we don't know what's going to change uh, later on. But this is continue to confirm that the, the situation, what the area is going through, it's very dangerous and very sensitive. Uh, the area is all targeted uh, by the plan of annexation by the occupation government because it's uh, very near to the south and it's the, the big plan is to annex it. all these uh, tens of thousands of donum to annex it to uh, Naqab and Be'er al uh, to all this uh, area and to evict the Palestinians from uh, from their villages and from their land with different excuses like the one they declared of the firing zone area exactly just where the Palestinians are living in order to uh, to kind of legalize the situation inside the occupation law for uh, evicting our people and taking them out from their land uh, the recent uh, update as well uh, like after the decision uh, what happened is uh, uh, the Israeli uh, authorities as well uh, distributed, uh, you know, uh, the demolishing orders also for Atabban village, which is uh, yeah, like now, <laughs> now like, yeah, for Atabban as well. Atabban is uh, also facing you now the demolishing also at any moment and all the villages as well, because this, uh, this decision uh, that was this, uh, declared in the 4th of May, uh, is a very uh, uh, dangerous, and I want to confirm about the two operation of demolishing that has been carried in Masaf Riyatta. One of them was just one week after the decision on 11th of May, which included more than 18 structures of include Palestinian houses, ships, shelters, and uh, for the people uh, in the area, especially targeted two villages, it's Al Fakhit and uh, Al Merkiz. Uh, then we move like uh, they moved to Taban and then to Khalta Dabi. So this is how the things went slowly, slowly, slowly. But as an activist, <clears throat> when the demolition carried uh, out on the 11th of May, immediately we started to organize and rebuild the uh, emergency tents for our people to continue their steadfastness in their land and to continue to hold in, in their land. Uh, but in the 1st of June, the Israeli bulldozers came up again, came down to the villages again and again. I demolished all these emergency tents and emergency uh, shelters. So we're talking about two big uh, operations of demolishing has carried out since the decision was uh, uh, was uh, <coughs> uh, issued. And now we are talking about the, uh, like tomorrow it will start the military training uh, between the villages and the houses of the people in, in the firing zone uh, area. Uh, especially this is like to kind of to maintain the situation and a status quo that they really want to uh, they, they, this is like con you know confirm that the Israeli goal of and uh, the Israeli uh, goal and uh, <clears throat> to commit the crime of uh, ethnic cleansing of our people Israel is insist to commit it and Israel is insisting really to commit this crime. So uh, they are doing all the, the all the ways to train the military in the in near the houses and in the villages. We are talking about the, the demolishing. Now we're talking about so many flying checkpoints, even to cut the connection between the villages. If I want to go to, to Khalta Dabi now, I will be stopped by this army, by, by these flying checkpoints they are doing in order really to cut the connection, to cut the activists from going there and everyone.